The self-proclaimed biggest in history Canton Fair started on the 15th. The Canton Fair has always been viewed as the most important window and wind vane for China's foreign economic relations. The official propaganda highlights the prosperity of the fair, but exhibitors complained that they had gained little and questioned whether the organizers intentionally created a scene of long queues to enter. In fact, there were few foreigners, and screens were filled with Chinese people. According to the Communist Party's official media, The People's Daily, on the 17th, the 133rd China Import and Export Fair, referred to as the Canton Fair, opened on April 15. The official media claimed that this was the largest in history. The exhibition area of the Canton Fair has increased to 1.5 million square meters, with the number of offline exhibiting companies increasing from 25,000 to about 35,000, and more than 9,000 new exhibiting companies. Nearly 40,000 exhibiting companies participated online, uploading more than 3 million products. The official claimed that the first day of the fair, 15th, had 370,000 visitors, including 67,000 foreigners. However, videos and messages from inside the exhibition booths of the Canton Fair showed a different situation from the official propaganda, and many exhibitors complained. One video showed the perspective of the person filming, who commented, Screens are filled with Chinese people, where did the foreigners go? In another video, a woman mentioned that the booth fee was very expensive this year, but she received very few business cards, far less than in previous years. The return on investment was clearly not proportional to the cost. On the first day, the crowd seemed quite good at first glance. Foreigners accounted for about 10%, but this is just an estimate and there may be errors, she said. She mentioned that they only received eight business cards from foreigners at their standard booth today, and they were the kind of customers who came and left in a hurry without sitting down for a serious discussion. In the past, on the first day of exhibitions I attended, it was usually the busiest day, and I could get at least 50 business cards. Compared to that, the return on investment for the booth fee at this Canton Fair is really not great. I am a bit disappointed. I asked my salesperson to observe our competitors and see if it was because our booth was small and inconspicuous that we only received 8 business cards. She went to take a look and asked around, but the results were also very average. A supposed exhibitor who was inside the Canton Fair posted a video claiming that despite the long queues outside, there are very few people inside the exhibition. Look at the long queues outside, people are about to have heat stroke. But there's no one here inside our booth. What's going on with the organizers? Come and take a look, everyone is counting flies. Look at this corridor. Finally, it's open, but the customers are stuck outside. According to a vendor's disclosure, there were few foreigners attending this year's Canton Fair, especially from Europe and the United States. Almost no one came from those regions, and those who did attend were mostly from Asian, African, and Latin American countries. Exhibitors and domestic buyers made up the majority with the typical cutting hair and getting hot situation. The screenshot shows the foreign trade merchant saying, we paid 158,000 yuan for the auto parts exhibition booth, but only received 8 business cards. Based on the situation of collecting business cards at the Canton Fair, most foreign trade companies will lose money. The big winner at the Canton Fair is the exhibition company. The decrease in demand from the US and Europe has brought challenges to the Chinese manufacturing industry. According to a report by Reuters, Chris Lin, representative of Dijou Hangji a lighting company, Limited, a Christmas light manufacturer, said that orders this year have decreased by 30% compared to last year. Lin said that the difficulties last year came from logistics and production interruptions, which were internal issues that have been resolved. But now we are facing external problems that we cannot solve. This year will be the most difficult year for us, he said. The war in Ukraine has led to a rise in electricity costs and a further reduction in demand for the company's decorative lighting products. Lin also said that the company cannot afford to further lower prices, but may consider reducing labor costs. The company relies on contract workers, who are usually able to return home after completing Christmas orders from September to October each year. If orders are weak this year, the factory will lay off workers earlier. Wang Qingqin is a sales manager for an exhaust fan manufacturer. She stated that after orders decreased by half in the first quarter of this year, there are also similar cost-cutting plans in place. At our factory, if there are orders, the workers come to work, Huang said. In the past, this meant working overtime even on weekends, but this year it is more common for employees to have weekends off. 
a beard trimming product manufacturer in Ningbo said that the company has already laid off workers and will lower prices in the coming months if the order situation does not improve. The weakened demand has forced companies to freeze their investment plans. Dozens of Chinese suppliers have told Reuters that they do not plan to increase investment this year to improve their production lines due to weak demand. We don't have plans to increase investment, said Luna Ho, a sales representative for Top Grill, which produces outdoor grills. The company has already lowered its prices by 5% to attract buyers. Vicky Chen, the foreign trade manager for Kinji Electric, a socket manufacturer, said she does not believe the Canton Fair will significantly increase sales. The global economy is performing poorly right now, and this fair may not change that, she said. Public information shows that the Canton Fair is divided into three phases, April 15th to 19th for the first phase, April 23rd to 27th for the second phase, and May 1st to 5th for the third phase. The impact of weak foreign demand on China's manufacturing industry has long been a media concern. The Financial Times reported last month on the employment situation in Kinshan, Jiangsu. Kinshan is not only the wealthiest county in China, but also one of the busiest export centers. Wages there were once 30% higher than those in inland provinces. However, now Kinshan has seen a different scene, with companies laying off employees, cutting wages and benefits, workers facing difficulties in finding jobs. Several recruiters told the Financial Times that the number of factory employees has been reduced, hourly wages have been reduced by as much as one-third, and generous signing bonuses have been cancelled. Due to a reduction in orders resulting in an oversupply of labor, many factories have started refusing older job seekers. 